the military has an epidemic of musculoskeletal injuries. Society has changed. Recruits into the military now are less physical and more digitally minded than they've ever been before. That's important because we need technically clever people to operate the high-tech kit we now use. But they still need to move the big grey ships around the world. It's still very physical and they're getting injured. At any one time, around 10% of our total Royal Navy and Royal Marine population are medically downgraded, which means they're largely undeployable. And around half of these are musculoskeletal injuries. We also have a recruitment crisis at the moment, so 10% of personnel sitting on the sidelines is not helpful. It's not just us, militaries around the world have the exact same problem, and so scientists around the world are trying to solve it, starting at the place where so many sailors begin their careers, HMS Rally. What we'll do is we're going to mark you up with different markers. Nobody likes to be injured, no, and being on crutches is the uh, <laughs> bane of my existence. Naval recruit Charlie was a dancer before she joined the military. She says anything that prevents injury is good. Right foot, wasn't it? So perfect. Right over your hip bones is where we want it. HMS Rally is where brand new sailors are trained, and what the recruits and myself are doing today could become the norm for all who follow in future. Historically, we haven't focused on this bit of kit. We haven't focused on the person. Um, there's kind of a, a, an implicit uh, understanding that they will pick up the knowledge of what they should be eating, how they should be training as they go through training, but actually we've not made it explicit that this bit of kit is important as all the other pieces of kit, because this makes everything else function. Slow spin for me. This is a huge project. The aim is to collect a heap of data, then follow this cohort through tracking their injuries. Hopefully patterns will emerge that allow injuries in future recruits to be predicted. They can then tailor training around each individual so they don't get hurt. So what you're wearing is a system of active markers. It's a bit like how they filmed Gollum, if you think about that. So we, they put markers all over them and then they were able to animate that picture and that's essentially what we're doing we're putting all these markers on you to be able to have a virtual stick person of exactly how you run so we can calculate angles and forces that you're putting through your body when you're walking and running in order to see if there are any of those factors that make people more susceptible to certain injuries look at the end walk naturally you go into the pub go for it we don't know what we don't know at the moment. The Nirvana is, you know, as an individual joins, we screen them either biomechanically or on the plant of pressure. Uh, and we see red flags, i.e. we've seen that kind of particular uh, pressure before. And we know there's a percentage chance that that leads to a lower limb injury of some description. It might be something as, as easy as an orthotics going in there or just a little bit of extra strength training around a particular area for that one individual. So Henry, I've just been running up and down. Tell yep. me what we are now looking at here. So after you've run up and down with all the markers on, we've now got the image and the video of what the cameras have captured. So as you can see on the screen, there's a lot of markers and a lot of different triangles that are appearing. So what's happening here is we're seeing the markers move through the space. Because the cameras are aligned with a force plate, we're also picking up the force that you're putting through the floor as you're going over the plate. So what we can get from this is an idea of how the body moves through space, but also the forces that the body is experiencing as we run across the platform. So what we're collecting here is pressure under the foot. So we ask people to walk or run or indeed stand on a pressure plate, which looks at the distribution of the load across the bottom of your foot. And then that can produce this coloured image where if I pause at any point, so at that point in time for the left and right feet, the red is showing the areas of highest pressure at that point. And we can watch that moving as images throughout the ground contact phase. One of the things we hear about quite often in the media is whether people run on their toes or whether they run on their heels and whether that may be related to injury. And the other things we see is whether people have their a toe out running style or a toe in running style and that may make a difference to whether they like to get certain injuries. The start point is lower potentially than what it was 10-15 years ago. Uh, so we need to ensure we understand that in the way we put our training programmes together. We need to understand that how we train the individuals and we need to understand that from a prevention of injury, health behaviours and rehabilitation perspective. Collectively all those uh, assets put together we will be able to deliver 
uh, something for this generation that is joining our armed forces at the moment. Upstairs, more scientists are busy with still more tests. Height, weight, grip tests, even skin fold measurements. And there's also an element of education here. What many don't know is musculoskeletal injuries can be caused and worsened by preventable lifestyle factors like diet and smoking. But this is more than just a research project. We're competing in a tight labour market. We need to present ourselves as a 21st century employer that invests in its people, supports its people, takes their health as a priority and supports that throughout their careers. But actually, it's about holding on to the talent we have. We know that people are leaving the services because it's not conducive with a healthy lifestyle. We know that people are leaving the services because of health conditions that could have been prevented. We know there are people who are leaving the services because they think that our, our approach to health and well-being um, is not 21st century. So we can do things better. We can look after our people today so that we retain people. Yes, we can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of our rehabilitation and recovery so we get more people, as you say, off the sideline. Um, uh, and, and that will address some of our workforce challenges. The vision is whole force. Potentially over 3,000, maybe 3,500 joining Absolutely. the Navy every year. We want to be in a position where this becomes business as usual. Good job. Right, you're all done. Lieutenant Colonel Eric and Dr Joe are part of an international consortium, including the US, Australia and New Zealand, all collaborating in an attempt to solve the problem. Hannah King, Forces News, at HMS Rally. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.